Hello and welcome to Forever Youthful with your host Dr. Jayashree Sharad. Hyperpigmentation is what we're going to discuss today. Now there are various reasons for hyperpigmentation. You can develop melasma which is a butterfly rash on the cheeks and the nose and this gradually spreads to the forehead as well as the chin. This is a result of hormonal imbalance as well as sun exposure. It could be genetic or it can occur during pregnancy and it may persist and sometimes it just disappears at menopause. Then there is something called forehead melanosis. This is like a thick band on the forehead which happens due to friction if you're constantly wiping your sweat with a rough towel. It could also occur as an allergy to hair dyes or hair colors or even allergies to these headache balms that people apply on the forehead. Then there is periorbital melanosis which is dark circles and there is this Hyperpigmentation in the sides mostly seen in families, in mothers, daughters, grandmothers and that's called the pigmentary demarcation line. It's not so common in males but it may be present in a couple of them. Now this is a genetic condition and there's really no treatment for it and it may persist and increase if you expose yourself to sun. Then there is perioral melanosis. Now this is pigmentation around the mouth. This can occur as an allergy to lipsticks, an allergy to tooth whitening toothpastes or sometimes if you have an allergy to silver then these silver coated sweets or condiments you know your after mints which have silver in them can cause pigmentation around the mouth. If you're licking your lips too often you know the saliva itself if there's saliva drooling that itself can cause hyperpigmentation. If you're allergic to perfumes, you can again get pigmentation all around your mouth and also on your cheeks as well as the neck. There's another condition called Reels melanosis where there is hyperpigmentation due to allergies to cosmetics. So either foundations or concealers, when you keep using them, you can develop this slaty, bluish colored discoloration on the face and the neck. Exposure to sun right from your 20s through your 30s and 40s can result in hyperpigmentation on the face later on. Then if you have stress, stress can cause havoc on your skin. It can stimulate these cells to produce more melanin and your existing pigment will turn darker. And finally, if you have a hormonal imbalance in the body, if you have hypothyroidism, okay, if you have Addison's disease, or if you have certain internal issues like a renal problem, you can develop hyperpigmentation on the skin. So you need to identify the cause and for that you will need to go and consult with a dermatologist and once you know the cause, the condition can be treated. Now whatever it is, it's very important to use a sunscreen. It's very important not to use any kind of scrubs once you have pigmentation on your face. And then you have to avoid having sugar because sugar will cause glycation, it will release insulin like growth factors and it will increase to your hyperpigmentation. Sunlight, smoking, scrubs, steam, sauna and swimming during the day should be avoided if you have increased pigmentation on the face. Your doctor will prescribe you vitamin C, licorice, arbutin, kojic acid, alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acid based creams but never go and buy creams over the counter, skin lightening creams which have steroids in them. They could be really detrimental to your skin. You can ask me questions and post your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Forever Youthful and like and share this video.